Hi everyone, Captain E-Dog Tano, Tano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of this Absol album, Herbert. This is the latest full-length album of Top Dog Entertainment signee and West Coast rapper Absol. It's now been over a decade since he broke through with the heady and mind-expanding control system in 2012, and now he is on his fifth full-length here, and it's an interesting one at that. Which is saying something, because Absol is handily one of the most complex spitters out there today. His wordplay is often next level. And while I think he has had some issues with follow-through in the past, projects such as these days do show him to have a conceptual edge. But on Herbert, rather than exploring something larger than himself, Solo seems just content to explore himself. His past, his present, his psyche, making this his most personal record to date. But simultaneously, it's not as consistent as I hoped it would be. Per usual, I admire Absol's ambitions, but like on previous records, they often expose shortcomings in his abilities or taste. Case in point, let's take two songs off the end of the record to illustrate what I'm talking about. You have the closer Gotta Rap, which is a classy piece of jazz rap, with some hard-hitting drums that come by way of production from DJ Premier. There's some great DJ scratches on the track too. Absol's bars on the track are so consistently witty. Whether you're talking about simple one-liners such as, I like to call myself the god of rap, but really I just gotta rap. Then there's also more complex references and double entendres. I put my life in these sentences, bring the felons in, felons serving a sentence, my cuddy or friend in the coop flipping chickens or slinging coke, a brick of which could also be described as a bird, which makes the third line here make sense, turning one up into two, that's a mocking bird. Basically cutting it with other stuff to sort of extend the supply so it's, it's mock, it's a mocking bird, which like, like, ah, my God, that's... That's impressive. In the grander scheme of rap music, maybe you could charge this track as maybe not being uh, super original, but Absol still nails down the pure essence of hip-hop in this cut, and he sounds great doing it. And there are plenty of other tracks on this thing that scratch a similar itch, whether that be the cerebral no report card, the explosive fuck out my face, or the very gritty Ganganem. The track Moon Shooter is a high point as well, and features a great appearance from Joey Badass, but the best guest verse on this thing surprisingly has to go to Punch, the president of TDE. On the song Good Man, he just absolutely kills it in the second half. So yeah, if you love verses, if you love bars, if you love just straightforward, hard-hitting beats, there are some highlights here. But then conversely, there are tracks on this thing such as Positive Vibes Only, where I think Absol bites off more than he can truly chew. The auto-tuned vocal harmonies sound horrendous. Solo shouty, strained vocal leads uh, on the pre-chorus are really unflattering too. The very bright and brittle synth chords in the mix are just way too harsh to sound as pretty as I think they want to. Lastly, the song's attempt at crafting this really high-minded positive message just ends up in this place that's middle brow and awkward. And I think I think other attempts on this record at getting super conceptual or meaningful fall flat too. You have the multi-phased intro which has all of these independently working parts from uh, Absol's grandma sending him a touching voice message to these uh, very moody Joji-esque musical passages over which he raps. Then you have a very lush and thick beat switch which makes for a much stronger second half. The track has peaks and highlights but a very awkward progression and it's just not greater than the sum of its disjointed parts. Also, you do have some questionable lyrical moments on this thing, such as worst case scenario, this shit stereo burial. You're very venereal. I'm a set you men straight. Set you men straight. M men straight. Uh... For someone with as much lyrical talent as Absol has, just sometimes he doesn't really have a whole lot of Tact. Then you have the art of seduction where Absol is taking into account all of these uh, various toxic relationship dynamics, but still somehow making it work anyway. Sure, it's low key, sure, it's introspective, but it doesn't really get to the heart of anything necessarily. Then the low key performance and tedious pacing of Bucket leave this track feeling like an afterthought or a motif that just goes on too long. Even if there are some lyrical highlights to be had, such as, you know, the more you honor somebody, the more you judge them, your honor, judge. The anticlimactic CD skipping ending at the finish of this track doesn't really help either. Then Church on the Move maybe has the worst beat on this entire record. I love the rhythms, I love the gospel chops, but the searing synthesizers that sync up with Absol's uh, flows on the chorus sound like hot piss. Shoo, 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 shoo. Shoo, 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 shoo. 
I don't know if I've heard a more unnecessary sound in a beat in the past year. There's also the title track of this thing. For a song whose central point is that uh, the, the audience, whoever's listening, they will never understand Herbert. Yeah, the song doesn't really do much to uh, bring a lot of understanding, especially with a boring beat laced with these uh, very muddy samples and chops, very alien effects and noises, which are pretty much smothering Absol's vocals in the mix. Uh, he, he seems like he's putting a lot of effort into uh, spelling out some personal thoughts and experiences on the track, but his voice is just left unintelligible almost a lot of the time. Which is maybe the point, but I think at the end of the day there could have been a more interesting and artful way of going about, I, I guess, exploring this idea than just making his voice difficult to listen to. Additionally, there is the song Go Off with Big Sean and Russ, which um, is, is a very odd pairing. Uh, I've heard very good and impressive verses, guest verses, from both of these guys over the years, and I don't think um, the ones featured on this track are some of them. It's not terrible by any stretch of the imagination, but their combined meh-ness compounding on top of each other does kind of drag the second half of the track down. And overall, I think the record is really, really front-loaded too. A lot of the best cuts and bangers all pop up in the first half. And this is kind of a long album, an hour plus, uh, to have a track list that isn't dropping heat in an even fashion from beginning to end. While I do think this LP is an improvement on Absol's past two uh, in quite a few respects, it still fell monstrously short of my expectations uh, given his connections in the industry, given his talent level, given the time between this record and his last, given his unique and instantly recognizable rap style. Despite all that, for some reason, Absol continues to be one of the more one-dimensional members of TDE, because when he transitions into more ambitious and more abstract ideas, the results often don't pan out. Especially on the second half of this LP, which I am feeling a strong six on. Transition, have you given this record a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like, please subscribe and please don't cry. Hit the bell as well. Over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Absol, forever.